is uh, Mike Clyde from Kiss 90 Pride. I want to thank everybody for coming out. This is Wayne Nut here. And uh, we have uh, a couple of questions we want to ask you guys real quick. Yes, I do. All right, again, thank you guys for coming out. So I want to thank you. You guys missed it. Wigner almost busted his ass so hard. He's coming on the stairs. It was a tad bit embarrassing. He saved you. He saved you, though. It was, it was pretty graceful. The jacket. Pretty graceful save. It was the jacket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you guys, of course, were talking about Quilt, your brand new album. Yes. What's it like already having a big song like Cupid's Chokehold? Yeah. And uh, your second album, I guess your second big album. Mm -hmm. Talk about that a little bit. Um, well, I mean, a lot of people ask us in interviews, you know, is. You know, are you are you, are you worried about the, the the sophomore slump, or you know, like? But the thing is, like, it's we're kind of past that because it's our fourth record. So if there's gonna be a sophomore slump, it's gonna be years and years ago. So <laughs> we kind of got exempt from that. But um, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, like, Cubist Chokehold kind of did what it did for us, and and it was cool. But um, I feel like you know, with the new record, we've we've all grown as musicians and and, and songwriters, and I feel like um, one of the main goals was to kind of, you know, scratch your nipple. Scratch my nipple. <laughs> yeah, I think the main goal was to kind of, not, not separate ourselves from Cuban show but but just move on, you know, and, and yeah. Um, who's on the second album? Like um, guest appearances? A plethora of people. Um, we, have, we definitely have a lot of guest appearances, but I think that everybody that's on the record, um, I feel they're on the record because they're supposed to be, and, and it's nothing for name's sake, you know. It's like, well, Estelle's hot right now. Let's get her on a song. You know, Estelle's a good friend of ours, and, and it, it felt like she'd be perfect for that song, so that's why she's on that song. Um, we have Estelle. We have Busta Rhymes on the record. Um, the Dream is on the record. Um, cool and Dre produced a couple songs. Um, we have Chaos on the record. Um, my my idol and my hero, Daryl Hall, is on the record. I mean, it's cool. If you guys don't have it, you need to go get that. I'm telling you. I'm so sincere. Um, I do want to ask because of cookie jar. What's your favorite cookie? My favorite fruit? cookie. Um, actually, my favorite cookie is one that was not mentioned in the song. Um, it's called Butter Crunch. I don't know if you guys have Butter Crunch cookies in, in Florida, but um, you can get them from a, a place. If you guys ever make it to upstate New York? We have these little gas stations called Burn Dairy, and they sell individually wrapped cookies, and Butter Crunch happens to be one of them. Um, I also like chocolate chip M&M. Anybody else? Favorite cookies? Uh, I'm going to say that I like the uh, Girl Scout cookies. Oh. <laughs> that does not have any other connotations. I just purely, purely like a delicious taste. Bro. You gonna get us put in jail. <laughs> uh, one last one to let you guys uh, get out of here, but with Halloween around the corner. Yes. I was we take Halloween very seriously, by the way. I do. Well. Yeah. I'm going to be a giant cookie jar. Really? And I'm going to let people put their hands in me. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hey, my man. I think it's a good idea. My man. <laughs> I think it's a great idea, but surprises pop out of the time. You know? I don't know. I don't know if I could spend a day of having people stick their hands in me. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Any Exit ideas? only. Any, any ideas for your Halloween? Uh, well, we like I said, we take it seriously. Like, actually, last time that we had a Halloween show, I believe it was in Orlando. Um, was it Miami? I lied. Um, yeah, and we, we were we were the Immortals from 300, and uh, it was cool because you know the Immortals had the, the metal mask on, but it was a double surprise because when you take the metal mask off, you had the scary mask. So it was like a mask on top of a mask, and then you take that off, and then you have the real person. So it was like these people were getting like triple threats. But um, the year before that, we were actually um, this might be a lot, a lot over a lot of your, your, your heads. You guys might may have not have been born. I'm not saying that that I'm old. But um, there's a movie called The Warriors. That was an awesome movie that I used to watch all the time with my dad. And we actually dressed up as the baseball furies from The Warriors, like like replicas, like cool replicas of the of the, the actual costumes. And we painted each other's faces. And it was awesome. And we went out, and people were like, "Who the hell are you?" And we're like, "The baseball furies, son." I was like, "Shit." I mean, maybe we should do something a little more, uh, you know, uh, contemporary or something. Something people will get this time. But um, we're going to have fun. I, we don't have any ideas yet. Actually, we, we were talking about the other day, I think, with the Jesus. What did you come up with? The Jonas Brothers, I think. The Jonas Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to be the Jonas Brothers. Oh, the thing is, there's going to, yeah, yeah. We might, maybe, maybe we'll do a whole spoof on the whole Disney thing. And, 
you know, a few of us will be at Jonas Brothers and the Sasha, the Sasha will be here in Montana. And, uh, <laughs> and the Jesus will be not so raven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We want to thank you for coming out. For Thanks sure. for having. Make sure you go buy the quilt that's in stores now, or get on iTunes as well. At this uh, at this time, I want to get everybody to line up right over there. We're gonna get them to sign some quick stuff here. We're gonna try to do photos, but we're gonna do autographs first. Then, when you're done getting your everybody, pay attention. When you're done with your autograph, get back in line, and we're gonna try to do photographs depending on how much time we have. Mm -hmm.